Hello and welcome back. In the last video, we've managed to create the dissolve effect between these two different uh, renders, and we're going to add the extra pop sim now to help blend in between the uh, the two different versions. And if we look at it, we see that one version is being removed and the other one is uh, completely um, uh, revealed. But we don't want to be emitting from all this area at one time or we don't want to be always emitting from this area we want to emit once and then if that particle falls down we want it to stop we don't want to do continuous emission and if we use this version if we use this one here and emit from it we will be emitting every frame extra points from here and we don't want that we want it to only happen once and the way we're going to do that we're going to go back to this mask here and I'm gonna copy it let me call it mask anim, and I'm gonna copy it and paste it and instead of having uh, the uh, instead of having black and white we're going to have it uh, do the same thing but we're going to add another point here and we're gonna set it to black and I'm gonna move it closer let me extend this So we're going to move it closer here and I'm going to set a keyframe and then go to frame 120 and move this point to be here. And we want to only keep a section moving. That's it. And by doing that, you can see that we're only ha we're, we're only taking a portion of that ramp and we're going to delete everything except the point uh, the white points and use them in the pop solver and I'm going to make a copy of this and just play a little bit more with these values to show you guys how it works so we started off with this let me delete this we started off with uh, this ramp here something like that and then if we remap it you can see we can isolate an edge and then I can add another point here and isolate only that portion. I can also add two black points and change this to uh, white as well. And I can do another one here and have them both moving um, uh, in the same direction or control anything I want, basically. So um, we've used this version to blend between the two different uh, uh, renders and now we're going to isolate these points and blast everything that is black and then only use the white points and I'm going to use the same expression or maybe 0 0.01 and we're going to delete everything except those points so delete unselected and now I have that maybe let's go a little bit more aggressive Cool. So now we have this moving and I'm going to add a pop network, connect this, I'm going to dive inside and say all points let me check something super quick so we're going to set it to all points and we're going to uh, leave the birth as it is, we want to have them live for a long period and we're going to add gravity and we're going to add ground and let's merge them cool so let's take a look uh, maybe let's move the gravity to be at the end and now let's try and, and play this and see what happens. So nothing happened. Oh, sorry. I still, I connected a gravity node again. Let's hit play. And you can see that as the um, points, as the map travels through, we're starting to emit points. But now we're uh, we're getting all this weird jittering effect, and I'm gonna solve that by changing the jitter 
birth time to negative and I'm gonna change the interpolate source to back and that should help uh, should help with the with the uh, emission and the good thing about this is that the points will inherit all the attributes so if I immediately click I see that I still have the UV coordinate and if I put down a dot import and I'm gonna connect this help object import geometry and we want to make sure that we import geometry type so now I have the pop coming the points coming and it, they they will inherit the um, the point attribute something's happening something is happening let's see okay mm. Maybe I need to reopen the file. Yeah, let me start another Houdini session super quick. And I'm gonna open the file that we're working on. Cool, so now I have the points uh, and it's hit play and the mask is not moving, I guess. Yeah, sometimes I, I need to do a copy of the node to refresh it. This is something I started noticing recently. And we can always, let me file cache this temporarily. So we don't have to compute it every time. worked nope okay now it is back and I'm gonna cache it sorry about that And let's see if we have the source that we need. Set reload button. Nope. Okay, let's ignore this and let's see if it works now. Cool. So it is working and you can see that the points are uh, uh, falling down and only emitting one, a few points at a time instead of having a whole area being emitted from. Now the these points will also inherit the UV coordinate. So if I take, let's see which version, if we take this guy here and put down and connect it to the, the particles, because of that inheritance, it's gonna have all the information it needs to sample the texture correctly. And now if I merge this with the other version, with the other animation, I should be able to get um, the effect that we need. But for some reason, the the ramp needs a little bit of jiggling to get it to work sometimes. So you can see here that it's fully working. And obviously the bigger the resolution, the more points that we need to fill in, um, to fill in the, the screen space. And you can see now the pops are particles are falling and we're starting to reveal the the mud version underneath the gold version cool so in the next video we're going to tweak the pop a little bit to add a little bit more noise and we're going to add a collision geometry so that these points don't just uh, um, uh, basically don't just fly through the object we're going to have them collide and bounce and uh, I think that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video. Bye-bye.